Now, I want to uh, have you spend a little time now comparing those two experiences. And I'd like you to, to do it simultaneously. Here's what I mean by that. That you think of the experience of, of shame, and we'll call the other one not shame, and think of them simultaneously, and tell me how they're different. These are two different memory experiences. One is resourceful, one is very painful. How do they differ structurally? So you don't tell me anything about content, but I want you to tell me, for instance, where they're located in your personal space, um, whether one is nearer or farther than the other, uh, one might be in color, the other in black and white, that kind of thing. Can you tell me some of those things? Well, when you say structurally, do you mean um, how I, what the circumstances were surrounding it? or? Not really, no. Um, as you as you, you have these memories, right? Okay. They're both memories. As you call up these two memories and call them up simultaneously, um, usually they'll be in different locations. Usually one will be farther okay. than the other and so on. Just tell me any differences. In, in if they're the same in regard to something, then I'm really not interested. I'm interested in the differences between them, besides the, the feelings. We know about those already. I'm not sure if this is what you want, but well, in, 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 in the sh when I put them together, in the shameful situation, I felt there were forces on me, you know, demands, uh -huh. expectations. Right. On the other one, I didn't feel that. I felt um, I had more free will. Okay, good. Well, that makes sense to me, but it, it isn't quite what I'm asking. Okay. <laughs> and uh, these are weird questions, because what we're asking what I'm asking here is about things that are normally uh, unconscious. Nobody, people know they feel, they have a memory, they feel shame. They don't know where the memory is or what it looks like, whether it's color black and white. Uh, so it's a weird question and it takes a little getting used to. So for instance, if you were to locate the two in your personal space, where would shame be and where would not shame be? I don't imagine they'd be right on top of each other, would they? No. Okay. They're far apart. They're far apart. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where are they? Can you gesture? Or well, shame would be right here. Okay, right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Good. That's a good way to feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It really is. <laughs> and uh, the not shame. It's you know like out there. Out there. It's like it almost doesn't matter, huh? Okay, great. So that's one difference. So shame is right here. What, about eight or ten inches? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And the other one's how far out to the side? It's just way out there. <laughs> way out there. 20 <laughs> or 30 feet? Yes. And farther? I oh, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, are they, uh, let me just make a little list and you, you check. Um, are they both 3D or is one flat and one 3D? I would say the shame was 3D. Mm -hmm. Shame is 3D, okay. And, and the other one wouldn't be. And the other one wouldn't be, so it'd be flat? Right. Okay, how about color? I would say the shame would be um, like a dark red. A dark red, okay. Mm. And the other one? Um, gray. Gray, mm -hmm. okay, great. And uh, how about sound? Do they both have sound? Weird question. Yes, huh? it is. Uh -huh. But this is how we do this in our minds. Well, as far as intensity, I would say it was loud. Shame would be loud. Shame is loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is there any particular tonal quality to the sound in that? Kind of um, a moan. Moan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about the not shame? <laughs> Oh, lyrical. Lyrical, mm -hmm. okay. Melodic? Melodic. Okay, great. And Background. Uh, <laughs> background, okay. Muzak or something right. like that? Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, we do these great things in our brains, but most people don't take time to really figure out what they're doing inside. And it's really the key to making lots and lots of changes, very, very simply and easily. Okay, we've got a number of what, what I call submodality differences. Modalities are visual, auditory, kinesthetic. 
And these are the little pieces inside. So in visual, you have 3D and brightness and things like that. Let's try brightness. Are they the same brightness? This one and that one over there? No, the shame would be, you know, have more intensity in, in, br in the light. Mm. Okay. More bright. More bright. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, now I want to ask you some different questions now, and this um, relates to content, but I don't want you to tell me content. Let me tell you the kind of thing I'm looking for. Fairly often, people in a shame experience uh, experience themselves as smaller than other people. Is that true for you? Yes. How much smaller? Like, if I'm natural, s you know, more or less natural size, how big are you? <laughs> These are strange questions. Um, probably um, a foot tall, maybe. A foot tall. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's really small. So you're mm -hmm. only you're only that big. That's a good. Li you you do really <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Now, would it be okay with you if you had represent you? Um, had the shame experience in the same way that you had that one over there? Yes. I would think so. Yes. Now, what I want you to do is literally take that image. You'd have to step out of it because you're right immersed in okay. it, right? So the first step would be to step out of it. And then literally just kind of maybe gesture a little with your hand like this and just push it way over to the side over there. Okay. Is it over there now? Yeah. And what's it like to have it over there? Mm. Feels good. Feels feels mm -hmm. better, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now, as it went over there, did it become like that other image? In other words, flat. Um, what was this? Dimmer, I think. And uh, let's see. This one was bright and close. And um, oh, this one was red, right? Right. Did, did, mm -hmm. did the red fade out as it went over there? It seemed to. Mm -hmm. hmm? It appeared to. It's as I was pushing it away, yeah. it didn't seem so intense. Yeah, it mm. doesn't seem so intense. Okay. Now, as y tell me a little bit what it's like to have that image way over there now. Do you feel shame? I just don't feel, s you know, like smothered by it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you still feel a little shame? Yeah, yes. Okay. But now you can smile about it, huh? <laughs> I, I I am smiling, yes. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's clearly different. Yes. Okay. Now, this is sort of the first stage. This is changing the representation in the person's mind so that they can have a much more resourceful uh, experience of it. But it's not the full resolution, and I want to go for the full resolution. I don't like to do things halfway. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. Now, keeping that one over there, I don't imagine you ever want to bring it back, do you? No. Try it just for the fun. <laughs> um, no, I don't no. think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, I'm doing a couple of things here. One is I want to give her more flexibility in using her mind. One is I want to offer her the opportunity. To